Hi, my name is Roy Moore I'm with Ashley's Restaurants. We're with the first round of the Ashley's Invitational. I'm with John Botovich of Shorts Brewery. John, thanks for traveling four and a half hours just to come down to, down to visit us and meet with our customers. Tell us about the beers you brought tonight. Oh, sure. um, well, first of all, thank you so much for the opportunity to come down. It was an extreme challenge to only be able to pick four beers that would not only entice people to want to try them, but also you know continue to drink them throughout the night. Uh, obviously, we wanted to come up with a few styles that would appeal to people, but also make them want to drink more continuously throughout the night. So uh, we wanted to have them be you know, recognizable or appeal to people just through the name alone, but also through the flavor. So yeah, you brought some interesting titled beers. I saw that. Uh, tell us, what, what are we, we've got the sampling of the four t that are available tonight. What are they? Okay, well, I'll start on your right here. The lightest and probably the most deceiving beer, because of its uh, light body and color, is our Imperial India Spruce Pilsner. Um, it's a light-bodied Pilsner, but with that India in front of it, that should be an instant indicator that we have aggressively hopped this beer. And we use the hop called Summit Hops, which are extremely piney. And then that word spruce in the front literally means that we've added spruce to this beer. And not on any spruce, but blue spruce tips. So this beer is incredibly piney, and it's basically a historical homage to uh, brewing methods that were implemented centuries ago when hops weren't readily available, but people were still uh, seeking ingredients that would offer that bitter counterpoint to the sweetness of malt that you would find in beer. So when hops were around, they would look to things in their surroundings to offer that bitterness, and often uh, pine needles were uh, added to the beer. And the, and the fermenting process. Yep, yeah, exactly. The blue spruce is obviously uniquely to northern Michigan, but that's shorts, and we wanted to really, you know, pay our dues. And interesting, I, I had one earlier. It's a very approachable beer. What's next here? Uh, the next one down the line is a beer called the Ginger in the Rock. This is a beer that was originally brewed back in 2006 as part of our Imperial Beer series that we released in June of 2007. This was a 13 beer series, uh, all comprised of Imperial beers, which are beers that. Uh, use basically twice as much of the brewing ingredients, creating a higher alcohol beer and a lot more flavor. Uh, we call it a rye Munich ale, meaning that it, it has a lot of rye uh, that comprises the malt bill. Rye is a very distinct grain flavor and makes it uh, have a larger mouth feel and also aids in a dry finish. Um, we added a lot of fresh ginger to this beer, which gives it this wonderful floral aroma and this very uh, refreshing quality from the fresh ginger. But then we also used a Hefeweizen and yeast strain, which gives it a nice spicy quality to complement the floral nature of the ginger. So it's not a wheat beer by any means, but the spicy nature of the yeast, you know, uh, added with the wonderful floral nature of the ginger, it makes it a very nice refreshing beer. However, it is right around 7%, so it's a little deceiving when you first have it set in front of you and when you taste it. <laughs> Very good taste. Next. Uh, the, ne the next one down the line is the Turtle Stout. This is a pub exclusive beer, meaning that you can only get it at our pub in Bel Air or uh, when you attend an event like this. Uh, it is exactly like it sounds. It's a sweet stout, and if you're familiar with the traditional turtle candies, that's exactly what we tried to create in this beer. So we added milk chocolate, caramel, and pecans to this beer. And when you really allow this to warm up and come closer to room temperature, like most stouts should be enjoyed, you should be able to taste all those wonderful flavors. The chocolate, which uh, accentuates the natural chocolate flavors of this stout, uh, aided with some sweet caramel qualities. And then, like I was saying, when it warms up, you should get some of those nice toasted flavors as well. Uh, the final beer is our Liberator. This beer has created kind of a cult following over the years. Uh, as you know, uh, hops are in right now. The American craft beer drinker or enthusiast loves hoppy beers. So this is our first ever double IPA, which is basically, you know, your big hoppy beers times two. So it, it uses eight different varieties of hops, and then we add lemon and orange zest to this to really accentuate those wonderful citrus flavors that have really come to define the American hop varieties that are making these um, American style IPAs and double IPAs so sought after. So it's our uh, tribute to the double IPA and also to Joe Short uh, with the name of the Liberator. And this was a beer that we made in secrecy for Joe uh, for his 30th birthday three years ago. Yeah, so it's it's a wonderful beer and it really does a good job of paying homage to the man who all of us have just from. I think most of these are only available in draft form right now at this point. Exactly. How
what's up with Shore Seasons? How are things going for you guys? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, it, it, the, the beer is flowing, and I guess the biggest problem we have is not being able to make enough of the product. Well, but what I, we talked earlier, but I really appreciate you are targeting, you only serve the Michigan market at this point. That is correct. And going that way. Yep. Um, this is a wonderful night. It's a wonderful event. We're just going to see who's the actual winner of this first round match. John, I appreciate what you brought to Thank our you guests. So our guests really appreciate what you brought. Thanks. We appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.